You cool down then yet? I guess. Now, I ain't no skull yet. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are uh, you reading this mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. There. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> he ever actually even talked to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, whatever they changed it to. <sighs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Hello? Jesus, what's your problem? Hey, let me drive. <laughs> What's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... No! Are you insane? Well, I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws. Not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and buy some food to eat. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. I think this is everything. Thanks. Here, take that for yourself, okay? Old Jack Donahue left the grog shop. Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. That's life, I suppose. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, 
My husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair baking cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, uh, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and no. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You Steve. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? No! Go, go, go! God damn it! Get moved! those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. We showed those bastards, huh? Never gonna get there at this pipe. Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. We did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But... Maybe not. Careful! Yeah. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Graders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway... Don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you! I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you 